Ecce Homo by Hieronymus Bosque. Hieronymus Bosque was born in the Netherlands in about 1450. Little is known about his life or studies, but over 20 of his fascinating, detailed, and often religiously centered paintings remain. His paintings and triptychs focused on religious ideas such as heaven and paradise, hell, and Christ's crucifixion. Ecce Homo is no exception, depicting Christ in front of the crowd as he is being judged by Pilate. Bosque is suffused the painting with religious imagery, as well as painting the scene with a different perspective than other artists did at the time. Here, Christ is depicted with his head low, shackled, legs bloodied from beatings, and at the mercy of the crowd. Bosque chose to depict Christ as the ultimate human sacrifice, while other Renaissance painters tended to depict him as a heroic, accepting God. But below Christ's figure, the inscription still reads, Salve nos, Christe Redemptor, save us, Christ Redeemer showing Bosque's understanding of the sacrifice. A diagonal line following the platform on which Christ is standing divides the painting, showing how he is separ even though he is being condemned, he is still above the mob. Separate it separates him and places him above the rabble. The depictions of Pilate and the mob differ greatly from Christ. Christ's face is accepting, even calm, while the spectator's faces are contorted and ugly. The the crowd and the Romans were red and green, symbolizing their greed, jealousy, and anger. They clutched daggers and swords, showing their hatred of Christ. Another separating line is that between the bridge and the throng of people. Near the foreground of the painting, it is dark, congested, and chaotic. At the back, the scenery is light, open, and serene. We see people strolling through the square and two companions peering off the bridge into the dark below. One wonders why Bosque chose to paint it this way. Perhaps he was trying to show that while Christ was being sentenced, some remained oblivious, as they still do to this day. Here we can see two more inscriptions in the painting. In the first, nearest to the top of the painting, Pilate cries, Ecce homo, behold the man, to which the crowd replies, Crucifige eum, crucify him. Another instance of symbolism is the owl in the window above the magistrate, as well as the toad climbing up a shield on the right side. Both animals are traditional symbols of evil. Bosque combines subtle imagery, color symbolism, and space contrast to portray Christ's persecution. He shows a deep appreciation for his sacrifice, as well as a reverence for the event.